Welcome to EDU Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn about algebraic identities. Let's start. First identity is x plus y square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Second one is x minus y square is equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square. Third one is x square minus y square is equal to x plus y, x minus y. Fourth one is x plus a, x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. Now let's solve some examples based on this. First is x plus c into x plus c. This can be written as x plus c whole square and by using the identity first we can write x square plus 2 into x into 3 plus c square. That is equal to x square plus 6x plus 9. Now, next example is x minus 3 into x plus 5. By using the fourth identity, we can solve it as x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b x plus a b. Here, a is minus 3 and b is 5. So, we can write here. This is equal to x minus 3, x plus 5 is equal to x square plus minus 3 plus 5 x plus minus 3 into 5. Now, this can be written as x square plus 2x minus 15. Now, another example. Factorize 49a square plus 17ab plus 25b square. We can write this equation as 7a square plus 2 into 7a into 5b plus 5b square. So, this can be written as 7a plus 5b the whole square by using the first identity. So, the factors are 7a plus 5b into 7a plus 5b. Now, fifth identity is x plus y plus z ka whole square equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. For example, factorize 4x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy minus 2yz plus 2xz. The above expression can be written as 2x square plus minus y whole square plus minus z whole square plus 2 into 2x into y plus 2 into minus y into minus z plus 2 into minus z into 2x. So, it is equal to 2x minus y minus z for whole square by using the fifth identity as discussed above. So, the factors are 2x minus y minus z 
and 2x minus y minus z. Now, sixth identity is x plus y cube is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. This can be written as x cube plus y cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square. Now, next identity is that is 7th identity is x minus y cube is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy x minus y. That can be written as x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. Now, now let's see the example based on these identities. 5p minus 3 cube whole cube. Expand this by using 7th identity, we can write five p cube minus three q cube minus three into five p into three q into five p minus three q. That can be written as One twenty five P cube minus twenty seven Q cube minus fifteen into three forty five P cube into five P minus C cube. Now this is equal to one twenty five P cube minus twenty seven Q cube minus two twenty five p square q plus 135 p q square. Now, let's take another example. 104 p q. That can be written as 100 plus 4 to the power q. So, by using 6 identity, we can write it as 100 q plus 4 q plus 3 into 100 square into 4 plus 3 into 100 into 4 square. Now it can be written as plus 64 plus 3 into 4 plus 300 into 16. Now it can be written as plus 64 plus 1, 2, 4, 8, double 0. So the answer is 1, 1, 2, 4, 8, 6, 4. Now, next and last identity is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. Now, we will do a question based on this is factorize 8x cube plus y cube plus 27z cube minus 18xyz. 2x cube plus y cube plus 3z cube minus 3 into 2x into y into 3z. By using the 8th identity, we can expand it like 2x plus y plus 3z into 2x square plus y square plus 3z square minus 2x into y 
minus y into 3z minus cz into 2x. Now it is equal to 2x plus y plus 3z into 4x square plus y square plus 9z square minus 2xy minus 3yz minus 6zx. That is our required answer. So, this is all about algebraic identities.